Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now what we will do is, having learnt all these, it is time now for us to figure out how much do we actually know. Okay. So I am going to give you a problem which I gave you as a homework problem. How many of you were able to solve it? You are able to solve it? You have all the answers? Ah, anybody else? How many of you tried to solve the problem? Okay. So where did you get stuck? Uh, what is the equation? Pressure changing with the height? Yes, instead of 4.256, it is 5.256. Correct. So, very good. P, P ambient by P0 or P2 by P1, where 2 is any condition in the atmosphere, 1 is any condition in the atmosphere below that. P2 by P1 is equal to T2 by T1 times 5.259. 5.256, correct. So that is one thing. What else? Anybody else? So only two people in the class have bothered to go back and check. That is a very low score and that is not a good idea. This is an elective course. You have chosen to take this course. And if you do not show interest and do the course, uh, do the things given to you, then it is basically going to harm you only. Okay. So let us let's look at this uh, problem today again. So please note down the problem first of all. This problem we have to solve today and right now. Do you have calculators? All of you? Okay. So please take out your calculators. So V E N V that is the envelope volume is 12,000 meter cube. Pressure altitude of 1500 meter. What does it mean? What is meant by the term pressure altitude of 1500 meters? Someone should raise the hand and explain to me. Onkar, any idea? What is meant by pressure altitude of 1500 meters? Air inside for energy. No, no, no. That is pressure height. What you say that when the balloon is completely flush, that is pressure altitude or pressure height. This is something else. That is why I ask this question. This is not the pressure height. This is if a pressure altitude of 1500 meters, what information is communicated to you? Yes. Sir, it means that the ambient, the height at which the, I mean the airship is operated, the ambient pressure is equal to the standard atmosphere, I mean temperature, oh sorry, pressure at 1500 meters. Correct. That is right. So, the airship is operating at some altitude at which the ambient air pressure is equal to what you see under ISA conditions at 1500 meters. Correct? This is the meaning of pressure altitude of 1500 meters. It does not mean that the airship is operating at 1500 meter. The airship may be operating at 5000 meters, but it so happens that the ambient air pressure at that altitude is equal to the ambient pressure that you see under ISA conditions at 1500 meters. Correct. There is ISA plus 15. So that means the ambient air temperature also is not ISA. It is ISA plus 15. Then you have Y, helium air purity 0 0.96. Then you have I equal to 0 0.95. Then delta P S P is 490 pascals. Then delta T S H is 5 degrees centigrade. And E upon E S into 100 is equal to 50 percent. So you are supposed to estimate the gross and static net static lift. And now we can actually 
remove this because now we have a formula for the balloon a air weight okay now this is the information that we were discussing that ps by p not that is the pressure of the ambient uh, air at some altitude upon the pressure at sea level it is called as delta pressure ratio of the atmosphere and that is going to be t by t not to the power 5.259 this formula holds only in the gradient layer of the atmosphere which starts from sea level and stops at 11 kilometers now no airship normally goes beyond 11 kilometers so we do not have to bother about heights above 11 kilometers so you can assume this for your calculations has everybody copied it down okay so now let us go ahead then let us solve it so the first thing that we need to understand is that T s that is the ambient air temperature that will be equal to T 0 minus lambda into H p this is equal to 288 if I ignore that 0.16 minus lambda is 0 0.0065 6.5 degree per kilometer into 1500. So, that means T s is going to be 278.5 degrees Kelvin. This is the first thing that we have to calculate. Now, the value of delta that is equal to T s by T naught to the power 5.259 will be equal to 278.5 divided by 288 what is the value you get 3. please solve this expression Priyan calculator nahi hai Zero point eight three. this is what you will get. So, therefore, what is the value of P s that will be 101325 into <coughs> correct. Okay. Now, the next thing is what is the value of delta P super pressure? This is 490 Pascals. What about the uh, ambient temperature? Will it be equal to T s? T s is the standard air temperature. So, what will it be? this will be equal to T s plus 15 that is 278.5 plus 15. this is the value of T a. So, 93 okay. So, now how much is the value of uh, T T i in centigrades twenty point okay. So you remember there is a formula for getting E S. Do you remember this formula?
that formula which we had for calculating the value of Es, which uses the ambient air temperature in centigrade. So it is 18.678 plus in you know, a minus C divided by 234.5. Do you remember this formula or not? Yes or no? So if that is the case, then I want the value of Es. No, no, 611.2. Sorry. 611.2. So, what is the value of ES? 2375 units. Pascals. Anybody else with some other number? Yeah, I am getting 2382. So, I will make it 2382. That is what I got in the calculation. Okay. So, 2382 Pascal. Now, now what is the value of E? E will be equal to RD by 100 into ES that will be 50 percent into, so what is E? <coughs> 1191 Pascal, okay. Unless you solve it yourselves, you will not understand what is happening. All right, so let us move ahead now. We have a formula for gross static lift Lg. Lg is equal to Es minus 1 minus Ta. So that becomes how much is PS? 84 How much is PS? Eight four six nine one minus what about one minus R D? What is one minus R D for this? Right, into one one nine one divided by what is TA ambient air temperature? Now, how will you get the value of K? K is P zero rho zero by T zero into G. So the value of K is actually known to us. This is the value of k. So you multiply that by 0 0.03416 times envelope volume, which is 12,000 meter cube. So what is the value of Lg? 117. 117655. What is the units? No, it will be Newtons because G has taken care. Remember, this K contains G also, and don't make this mistake. It will be in Newtons. Okay. Now, what is the lifting gas weight? W L G. For that, we have an expression that is equal to one minus one minus R D pure gas times Y. P S plus delta P S P over T A plus delta T superheat times I into K into V E N V. 1 minus 
1 minus now what is the value of uh, 1 minus rd so 1 minus rd is self is 0 so this is in this itself is 0 0.378 and y is 0 0.95 Oh, I am sorry, this is actually 0 0.8618 that is 1 minus Rd into 0 0.96, then you have 84691, how much is plus delta PSP is 490, this is 2. 93.5 plus ISA plus 5 and this will be 0 0.95 into K which is 0 0.03416 into 12,000. This is WLG lifting gas weight. So, how much lifting gas weight? So, from the gross weight of 117655 Newtons, the lifting gas weight itself is 19188 Newtons. Okay. Now, the next thing that we need to see is weight of the air in the balloonet. That will be PS plus delta P. SP minus so PS is 84691, delta PSP is 490 and E is 1191. Divide by TA was 293.5 plus this is 5. 1 minus 95, 0.95 times 0 0.03416 times 12,000. How much is WBA? Weight of air in the balloon? 5, 8? That is it. So, now you have everything. So, now LN is equal to LG minus WLG minus WBA. So, this will be equal to what is W, what is the uh, LG, LG we got was how much was the LG? WLG and air. So, what is LN? The units are going to be Newton. 9. So, that is the answer we are looking for. The net static lift is 92651 Newton and the gross weight, the, the sorry, the, uh, the gross static lift was 117656 Newton. Now, you can yourself check what happens if you ignore humidity, what will be the percentage error. Okay, so with that we come to the end of uh, today's uh, lecture. Okay, in the next class we will look at effect of uh, certain uh, variations in the atmospheric properties on the net static lift, how it changes. Okay, thank you.